Hello, hello, my name is Prue, or Prue LaRue, and welcome to a new sort of weekly series I'm going to start off, and this is going to be my singles roulette Wednesday videos for the next couple of weeks. I just wanted to try out getting more regular content out, and I definitely need to get some more use out of my singles. This is initially inspired by Annette's Makeup Corner, and who was inspired by Alyssa Ashley with her series that she used to do, and it's just a super fun way to get use out of your singles, really, and if you're like me. If you've watched my palette collection video, you've seen how many single eyeshadows I have. So it's a great way to sort of just use them. So let's get started today and let's see what we're colors we're going to be playing with. I'm just going to start up the wheel and scoosh over here. First up, we have Enchanted Lustre Elixir of Life. This is sort of like a little crumbly looking one, but it's going to be great for the inner corner. Um, Lovely shade. Oh, it's like a gold duochrome. All right. And sorry, there's still foundation on the back of my hand from doing my face. Moving into the next one. We're looking at getting Colourpop Solstice with the Mostest. This one from Colourpop is like a beautiful pink blue duochrome. Oh, it's got like a bit of blue in it. Let's see. I don't know if you can really see it too much, but it does have a nice shimmer effect to it. And it's it's a nice pink. Next up, Sydney Grace Co. San Diego. This is just a lovely brown. Here she is. That was the easiest one to find too. <laughs> On to the next. Oh, what do we have? Ah, Colourpop Snake Eyes. Also very easy to find. These ones are all next to each other. So it's this guy up here. Lovely. And I think we just need like one more to see where this all leads us. Dun, 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 dun. Sugar peel kimchi. All right. I didn't expect that one actually. This one is uh, in its own little case, so I won't actually put it in the Inglot palette, but it's a lovely blue. All right. So here are the shades we're going to play with today. This is going to be fun. Let's prime the eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I think I just like uh, I've been craving to do a halo eye. I'm not sure it's gonna work with this blue and brown for my mattes. So let's just start off. I'm gonna put kimchi in my crease and just like sort of get my thinking going. Yeah, I can do it. So let's just pack the kimchi shade. Yeah, and this is my Sonia G brush. It's like quite a chalky formula. All right, there we are. We're getting some pigment kicked in. All right, and then I'm just going to dip into San Diego from Sydney Grace with the same brush. And I'm going to go just like around the edges and sort of see what's going to happen. I'm just like smoking this out a bit underneath my eye. All right, and then dipping back into kimchi, I'm going to bring this underneath my eye. All right, so then we've got solstice with the mostest, which is the most logical twist to put in the center. I'll bring you in so you can sort of see. I kind of do like how the brown has sort of tamed down the shade a little bit like kimchi so I'm going to go with solstice with the mostest just on this brush and I'm just going to tap it in the center and this is where you can see the duochrome make hopefully a little bit better yeah I kind of actually really like that super fun I'm going to use snake eyes I'm just going to put this underneath my brows a bit of a brow highlight because I just don't really know what else to do with it to be honest. Then for my inner corner, dipping into the Enchanted Lustre Elixir of Life. Wow. This pigment is insane. Uh, and just the amount of, the amount I picked up and then tapped off my brush. Because that all fell off. So I'm going to curl it around a little bit in the inner center so we get a really nice bang of color. I don't even know what this is on my 
Does it like some give me brow or something? Oh, damn it. I'm gonna fix up what I did to my nose then. I'll do that in a minute. Alright, this actually worked out way better than I thought it was gonna. It's quite fun. I'm just gonna quickly see if I can wipe off what I did to this. Nose. I'm going to bring a little bit more of San Diego just above the blue here to sort of blend in that highlight a little bit more and I forgot we'd accidentally flicked blue up here earlier I just don't like how it finishes and goes nowhere ah, I think a little bit more of kimchi is in order I love doing these challenges because it's such a fun way to play with my makeup and to force myself to sort of mix it all up and see where we lead. Um, and I'm super surprised with how I actually kind of like this. I really thought I was going to hate the brown and the blue. I had no faith. So let's check something on the liner. Let's get that pink a bit more pop. I'm going to go with my LA Girl Shockwave in pop. Then for the lashes, Bad Girl Bang. Australia Skinny Mini for the bottom lashes. And then we had a bit of a mishap with the mascara. Alright. That ties it up. <laughs> I actually really like this look. What do you reckon? What would you have done? with these color choices. Let me know, I'd absolutely love to know. And yeah, I'm sorry if my energy is a bit low today. We had our work Christmas party last night and I'm still recovering. But I thought it'd be fun to film this up for you now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you're excited to see these weekly and see me get some more use out of my collection and see where all these singles lead us. I'm so grateful that you're here and I'm so grateful that you're watching. So I absolutely appreciate it and I adore you. Mwah.